Hello, bang. So, I want to talk about Captain America, the first major. <laughs> when it comes to the Captain America trilogy, and every, every film, it's one of those films that's its greatest. Um, yes, you felt like you treasure it somehow, and, and it's alive. Wait, then still on, and then, and then how you see the storytelling of Steve Rogers, you watch it. You see that. We saw that with how he just wants to serve him, serve for others and serve his country and do a lot of great things for others. Even though a lot of, pe- even though a lot of people tell, tell him no in some ways. He's up. Steve is pretty much lying in his enlistment form pretty much so. I don't know why he just turned that the health issues that he has that he just not include a lot of them, he just includes some of them in some way, but um, this, this is my thoughts on that. Yeah, that both the uh, Steve and the uh, Trash Chan holding and the Trash Chan, that was very great. They did, they did that, a film we did see um, his friendship with Bucky. And you see these two characters talking to each other, it's like you feel like the brothers pretty much, and they've been friends there whole lives pretty much and that's exactly what they are so we didn't really see that in this film and there's love um the way they show that they care about um, what they do is really brilliantly brilliantly done in this film I really like Petty Carter in this film there was a lot of things that they they really I feel like they really introduced her in a really great way they actually had her she was it didn't came off too too overly done pretty much. There was a lot of dates today. I feel like they introduced her in a really appropriate way and they really done her the way she taught Steve is like a lot of great things that they have like so many great moments and he just like, Steve wants to like just if you're, if you're that within, Steve wants to know Petty a little bit more and such, so the, I don't know that that was me, but he's like the guy who talks to Steve about being a good man and such, that was a, uh, he wants to, he traded a super serum and I would start wants to, you know, get somebody, you know, me to test the serum and it's up with Steve Rogers and Steve is really selfless in the film. He does he does nothing that's in his way and that scene where he like goes with that training in in the boot captain, that was really um you see that he just keeps on going. I really like to see that. In this film is um, the knowledge we have from Iron Man too, we see that we get the sense, we have like a sense of how Howard Stark is pretty much. I really liked it, how they, I feel like Dominic really showed Howard in a really good way. I feel like there was a lot of, it, he does remind you of Tony in some way. <laughs> yes, and that's, uh, that's really interesting how they introduce him and such. I feel like he was like, do you feel like you see that uh, these characters that they matter in the storyline, so that was really great that they did. I really enjoyed Red Straw actually. At first, I feel like it was just not much, but I feel like overall, over the years watching this film, I feel like, I feel like Red Straw pretty much he wants to, just doesn't care about anyone pretty much, and I feel like he was a great, I think he was a really perfect villain for um, Captain America doesn't mean his his character is perfect, but oh, Steve is perfect. I'm just saying the idea of those two type of characters um, being enemies, pretty much, it made sense. It flowed really well. The Harley Command of that one. <laughs> I was trying to think of my I was thinking of the Warrior Three. <laughs> the Harley Command was pretty much. I feel like they really were a great um, team. With they really. They really helped Steve show the good sides of Steve Rogers in a really great way. I feel like 
day, we do, you see that the table is terrible, what they do as well. When the film first came out, we assumed that Budgie was killed off pretty much in the train scene, so I thought when the first had, we see that and feel that they wrote him out off pretty well, I feel like Steve has to learn how to live without Budgie, but it's just hard, hard as it is, and then he goes through all this stuff with Red Straw tries to fight him and then the Odin pretty much wants to, he wants to, not, not, not <laughs> Red Straw, he wants to Tesseract pretty much and that was an Odin's fault from the film in some way so he, he wanted Tesseract to power his um, machines and such, his, his weapons in some way so see if they fully stopped him and then he sacrifices himself and even though he wanted to like have a date with Patty of he wants to like learn how to dance and such and it's not a shame that he didn't did to do that but this way it's with the storyline that Steve had to like save you know people's lives pretty much and it's really there's so many shorts of you awesome Sorry, Steve. And the um, I like this show too, like the, the first one. He won the uh, war pretty much, but he didn't see the victory at all. But he woke up in the ice 70 years later and sees that the surrounding us. You see him, but just relaxing in that room pretty much. And he was like confused and he escapes and then everything feel like so new and unfamiliar for Steve because he's so used to uh, use his brain was just to small games like that he was running away from the that woman and as I saw showed of that he was going to there's a lot of things going on in his mind and that's the as I saw was pretty decent I feel like it was great it's not sure but uh, it was pretty decent I feel like but having Peggy involved in the episode that way was really great. In this film I really like the the way Steve and Howard talked to each other pretty much. It was Steve was worried that Howard and Peggy were dating in some way but Howard says no. <laughs> it's, it's, what do you say? But anyways, he, he pretty much tells how it tells Steve that not for doing too much. <laughs> yeah. It's an end film. We see that Steve talks to Nick Fury right? that he doesn't believe he's been sleep for 70 years or so. So what I've seen about um, the time of the first adventure, do you feel like there's a film that you would uh, or some things you liked about that film? What did I think about the early 40s environment there in that film? And what did I think about Patty Carter in the film, like, in the curriculum? 